In this lecture, we would like to study the binary numbering system. Why do we need to understand this system? Because we need to understand digital circuits. Digital circuits are built around a binary numbering system. It deals with zeros and one. What is a numbering system? What does it consist of? A numbering system consists of an ordered set of symbols or digits. It also consists of a set of relations defined over these digits, a set of rules and theorems that govern these relations over the symbols or the digits. For example, the decimal numbering system consists of an ordered set of symbols, which are 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 9. A set of relations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. A set of rules and theorems that governs the addition over the digits, subtraction, uh, multiplication, and so on. Okay, there is something called the radix or the base of the numbering system. What is the radix for the numbering system? It is the total number of digits in the system. For example, in the decimal system, the radix is 10, or the base is 10. It has the digits 0 through 9. Other common numbering systems we have a system called the binary numbering system where the digits or the symbols are zeros and ones zero one only so we say that the base for this system is two or the radix is two also we have the octal system where the symbols are zero through th seven so it has a base of eight also, we have the hexadecimal numbering system, and it has a 16 symbols, or 16 digits, 0 through 9, and then A corresponds to the decimal 10, B corresponds to the decimal 11, C, D, E, and F. F matches the decimal 15 so it has a base of 16 this hexadecimal numbering system okay weighted positional notation here it says that the position is important the position of the symbol in the number is important the value of each symbol is dependent on its type and in on its position in the number. For example, in this number, the symbol 7 or digit 7, it has a value of 7 times 10 to the power 3. So it has a value of 7000 because its position has a weight of 1000. The digit 5 has a value of 5 times 2 uh, 10 square, which is 500. Digit 9 has a value of 90. Digit 4 has a value of 4. So the position is important. Each position has a weight. In decimal, which is base 10 numbering system, the weighing factors are or the weights are power of 10 so this is the decimal point and the weights from the decimal point to the right are 10 to the minus 1 10 to the minus 2 10 to the minus 3 and so on and to the left of the decimal point the weights are 10 to the power 0, 10 to the power 1, which is 10, 10 to the power 2, which is 100, 
and 10 to the power 3, which is 1,000, and so on. To evaluate the decimal number, the 593.68, the value of 5 is 5 times its weight, which is 10 squared, plus the value of the 9, which is 9 times 10, plus the value of 3, which is 3, plus the value of 6, which is 10 times 10 to the power minus 1, and added to that is 8 times 10 to the, uh, to the minus 2. And this gives me the value of this number. Okay, in binary numbers, the weights are powers of 2, and the digits used 0, 1. So what is the weight for each digit in the following number. The weight for this number here is 8, which is 2 to the power 3. The weight for this digit here is 1, which is 2 to the power 0. The weight here is 2 to the power minus 2, which is 0.25. In an octal numbering system, where the base is 8, the weights are powers of 8. In this number, it has a value of 4096. Why? Because its weight is 8 to the power 4. This one has the weight 8 to the power minus 1. Weights in powers of 16. For example, this one here has a weight of 4096 because 16 to the power 2. The weight for it is 16 to the power 2. Here, the weight for the C number is 16 to the power minus 1. In general, for base R, the weights are powers of R.